You know, so many people are buzzing about the upcoming solar eclipse. And so many things are coming out every single day. Now there is a prediction from meteorologists that are saying the solar eclipse sparks warning about sudden weather changes. And they're saying this could be ahead of the eclipse. I was looking at another report and they're talking about there possibly may be a storm following the path of the eclipse. So the weather could suddenly change for some areas where the solar eclipse arrive in roughly two weeks. On April 8th, the moon will be positioned so that the entire disk of the sun will be blocked in several states across the U.S., plunging millions of people into darkness during the early afternoon. The path of totality will start in Mexico, extend across Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, New York, Pennsylvania, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine before heading over the North Atlantic. The spectacle is expected to draw crowds from around the nation as people head in areas of the path of totality to witness the eclipse. Officials across the nation have voiced concerns about stretch public safety resources and enormous strains on local hospitals, congested roadways, in addition to plunging those in the path of totality into darkness. The solar eclipse has the capacity to change the weather. And that's exactly what they're saying. They said the weather pattern, they're expecting it to change. So I went to look at how long they are saying this is going to last. They're saying more than four minutes. Now, I know there are a lot of people talking about the three days of darkness uh, when this occurs. So now they're saying now the days until the solar eclipse on April 8th, during the solar eclipse, we can observe changes in the weather on Earth in the eclipse path. Temperatures can drop, cloud covers um, can decrease, relative humidity can increase, and winds can decrease. This is the National Weather Service Weather Prediction Center posted on X, formerly known as Twitter, on Tuesday. Temperature drop because the sunlight is blocked. Cloud cover decreases because of the decreased solar radiation and dropping temperatures. Relative humidity increases once the temperature gets closer to the dew point and decreased solar radiation. And they said this could lead to decreased winds. The National Weather Service Prediction Center meteorologist Josh Weitz told Newsweek that the temperatures could start to drop as much as 60 minutes before totality. Maybe halfway through the first part of the eclipse, you will start to notice the temperatures dropping and clouds decrease. It's not just the three to four minutes of totality. However, once the eclipse is finished, there's a very quick return to normalcy. After five to 15 minutes, temperatures recover very quickly and cloud covers start to increase as well. The eclipse has attracted plenty of attention and millions of people are planning to travel within the path of totality on April 8th. Some Texas cities are expecting their populations to triple because of the number of visitors. 
At least four states have urged residents to stock up on groceries and gas in the days leading up to the eclipse, as traffic is expected to overwhelm local roads and some schools plan to close for the day. Yes, and I do notice more schools are announcing closures on that particular day. So, you know, it's a lot of chatter going on online over this upcoming eclipse. It seems to be a lot of people concerned about it, you know, and that's not to be too shocking. I mean, look, they were talking heavily about it, actually, this time last year. It was like a year away and people were really chattering about it. And I would see the articles out there and I'm like, wow, they are really super concerned about this eclipse. And they are. They are. But you know, a lot of people want to be in the path. I will elect to enjoy it where I am, you know, but once again, I have said this to you before. They said, if you wanted to book a hotel room in this country leading up to the eighth, you are going to be out of luck. There are so many places that are completely booked you could not find a hotel room if you want it. So, and many of us are not interested in traveling on that day. You know, many people are content with watching it at home. And again, I will be broadcasting it live from my channel. So in the event that it's too overcast where you are, you're more than welcome to come and watch it on my live stream. I will have it up for the entire eclipse and you can always go back and watch it again so y'all please tell me what you think about this video please leave your comment and subscribe don't forget to hit on the notification bell and i'll see you on the next video peace family